We all make mistakes. Sometimes you can fix them. But at some point, consequences become permanent. No more freedom, no more friends, or love to give my family on the outside world. Life brings a lot of nice things, but one decision can change it all in the blink of an eye. I could tell something's wrong. You're kicking the ball, almost hitting Chad in the face, knocking him out. He's gonna beat you up later, you know. That. Man, dude, I just got some personal problems on my mind, man. It's real, it's real crazy right now, man. Yeah. Think you could get through practice right now and just swing away at the ball, get your frustration out on that? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just ball up. <laughs> hey, yo, John, bro. What's up? My bad for coming at you like that early. Oh, no, you Didn't mean to get loud or nothing. You good? I'm just gonna go to this party tonight, clear my mind, dude. All right. You gonna go? Uh, I have a church camp I gotta go to. I'm a counsel for some kids oh, on the okay. weekend. That's so, real yeah. cool, man. That's cool. Man. But if you need anything, hit me up, and I I, I have my phone. So. All right, bro. For sure. But for sure. Don't do anything stupid, now, right? All right, man. But you have fun, all right? All right. We'll see you. What's up, bro? You good? Man, I got a lot on my mind, dude. You don't even know, man. Like what? My girl, dude, she's tripping on me, man. Like what, though? Baby problems, relationship problems, what? She texted me and told me that uh, she's gonna have an abortion, man. She told me that she's she's not she's not gonna have my kid. Damn, that's sad, bro. I hope everything get better between y'all. Thanks, man. Yeah. Good, bro. I'm just 
straight, I'm good. You sure? All right, let's roll out. Are you excited to go to camp this year? Oh, I don't okay, I admit that it is awesome, but our meetings are five o'clock in the morning, and you have boys. Five o'clock in the morning. The boys are probably gonna fight, pee on their beds, throw up a little, you know, same throw. Thing, same old. This is not what I signed up for. All right, whatever. Man. I told you about that female man. She didn't care about you or the baby. What man? Watch out! Watch out! She might be paralyzed. I don't think she's gonna be able to move. John Goodman was born in Honolulu, Hawaii on June 25th, 1995. John passed away March 21st, 2013. Could have changed things. What if Irene and John would have left 10 minutes later? Or what if she wouldn't have forgot something at home? Or what if Michael wouldn't have drank that night? Or what if someone would have stopped him from drinking that night? Would John and Lorenzo still be alive? Would Irene not be paralyzed? The court finds that the defendant is ineligible for a grant of probation unless unusual circumstances can be found because he has been convicted of two counts of manslaughter and felony driving under the influence that the defendant got behind the wheel of an automobile after having consumed any number of alcoholic beverages at a party and despite knowing that he was intoxicated, nonetheless chose to drive on a public roadway, which resulted in a collision 
that killed two people and severely injured another, know that this defendant will be spending upwards of 30 years behind bars in an overcrowded and dangerous state prison system. That's the order of the court. Court is now adjourned. They say one of the hardest things in life is to let go. But I never really knew how hard it was until now. The love of my life was taken right before my eyes. And I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. I am paralyzed from the waist down. And only God knows what my purpose in life is now. The simple things like running, walking, it's gone, all of it. Not only is my life ruined, but the life of an innocent other has been taken. all due to the bad decision Michael made to drink and drive. <laughs>